backers, oh, yeah. we also oh, yeah. would not be here. Yeah, we raised over $12,000 to be here to do this. So thank you to everybody who backed us. But enough of us talking. Let's just shut up and uh, let's play. So Digital, can you start it up? All right, good luck to Easy as Pie and Natural Selection. Nice words of encouragement from Rage Warner to his friends, don't choke. <laughs> for those of you watching online, this is youtube.com slash rooster teeth. The RTX 2015 Griffball Championships. All right, here we go into round one. It is single elimination in league Griffball. We play all nine rounds regardless unless we come up against our time limit. <laughs> so caveat there. So it is the first to get five, a best of five series. And here we go, the opening tip off. We'll see who gets first possession. All right. All right. Easy as pie's got the ball. And lost the ball. All right. Easy as right. with the ball. They've got it in possession. It is digital now. Ball in hand. He is dropping it behind Man Cannon. And they're starting to make their way up the field. DJ, what are you seeing from over there? Uh, Dishes Pain is taken right behind his tanks, exactly like he should. We've got Shadow and Godless both coming at him. Godless gets taken down by a hammer. But so does Digital. Ball's down. And it's got picked back up. Man Cannon's got the ball. He's right behind. He's going to have to come around the far side. Wait. Very good possession from Easiest Pie right now as they are holding up all, all the way through. Natural selection are having trouble trying to gain that possession. So, DJ, how do you think they're going to get around this? They're going to have to get around, but we're, we're, this is something we're used to seeing from these guys. The trick shots are usually what really sets them apart from other teams. Right now, we've got Man Cannon still running the ball. Godless and Shadow and Digital Pain are trying the protection run. They're not going to let this go easily. Easy spot, you can hear a lot of teamwork going on. There's a lot of communication between the players, and they're playing a little bit conservative right now, but of course, playing on LAN is a much different situation than playing on uh, on Xbox Live. So they're going to take a second, get warmed up, get their connection, uh, or not their uh, host range, and things figured out. And so, again, Man Cannon, is he still running, DJ? Uh, Man Cannon is still running the ball. He's got the ball, and I think I believe he's holding it back. He's staying right behind his tanks exactly as he should. He's back just behind the spawn line. Ball's up. Beautiful pass for And it's back. It's still in possession. Shadow's got the ball. Shadow's up. It throws it. And it looks like a member uh, and it's no, a and to be, oh. uh, natural selection ball. Or not. Well, that was going to be a bit of a foot race. Killer Sajir was going to pick it up there, but he lost the ball on the Digital side. Digital one extra easiest pie play, and it's gone straight back to easiest pie. Digital pain has got the ball. I can't tell who's coming out of it. That sword, he just keeps escaping it just barely. He keeps back stepping exactly like he should, and he goes down. <laughs> Commentator cares. One quick question as well, because this is uh, the league game. There is no auto pickup, so every catch you are seeing, every throw, they are holding down the button to get this. So they have to be so accurate to get these passes done. And we just have another one right there. Man Cannon's got the ball once again. He's on the back side, and as you can see, they're spread all the way across that field right now, perfectly spaced out so they can try and get the best arrangement and angles. And they're returning back and resetting. So leaker fall tends to be a, a, a very different affair than what you might see in matchmaking. There is a lot of strategy to it. There's a lot, although it looks like we might have a scoring opportunity. Man Cannon's right up there. As you can see, he's about halfway to the goal. And there's, I believe that is Digital Pain up in the front, over on the spawn doing the work. And he gets another kill. Who is that in the spawn? I'm not going to say. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so fortunately, whilst you're alive on this thing, uh, for us as commentators, they can hear everything we say, so we have to be very careful of what we describe. We the goal is not to give away the secrets. Yes. So right now, it's definitely more of a chess match than uh, than a brawl at the moment. Each team trying to figure out how the other one's uh, going to go at it. Land again, a very different field than Xbox Live, especially some of these players who have uh, either great connections or are used to playing on less than stellar connections, which has its own advantages as well. But it is easy as pie chucking the ball across the court. Beautiful midair nice catch. catch. Again, no ad auto catch. It is all scale right here. Digital pain with the ball at the center of the court. It's kind of hard to tell who exactly he's behind. He's behind three tanks. Well, that's good. That's where you want your runner to be. Yes. <clears throat> Doing a really good job of playing conservatively, not giving up possession of that ball very easily at, nice. at this time. Ball. Nice punch. Gets the stiff arm. It's a revenge and an Avenger achievement. He's going to back up. So you can Knight there, right behind Cannon. Right behind Shadow. Here comes Godless and Cannon back up to protect the runner. 
So uh, Natural Selection hasn't really had much time of possession, if any at all. Nice stiff arm by Digital Pain. But uh, they've been doing very well against a, a very tanking, impressive, easiest pie team. Tanking, of course, is our Griff Ball term for killing things till they're dead with the hammer and then killing them again. So if you hear us referring to tanking, that's what we're talking about. The uh, When we've had MLG or uh, HCS players, they call it slang. So someone's more more familiar with that. They are they're slaying right now. And the runner just playing conservatively because it's all about the most opportune moments going on sprees when you need them. And right now, Easy is Pi knocking on the door, threatening right there. The halo is so close and it takes so much restraint and skill for the runner to not just Leroy Jenkins it, charge in and probably die. So Easy is Pi really playing the possession game right now. Why don't you define Leroy Jenkins? DJ, you're the only person in the world who didn't know what a Leroy Jenkins is. I, just, I may not be some of those people might not. Yeah, I don't think they're going to admit to that. All right, well, that's fine. I have no qualms about that. All right, Shadow S16 with the ball on the backside. He's right behind Cannon. Cannon gets dropped. And the ball's up. Cross court. Yep. So if you're Ooh. watching and you're not used to seeing Leaf play, you're going to see a lot of players, uh, it's what we call dancing, a lot of back and forth, sidestepping, trying to lure the other tank into a false sense of security, swinging first, so that way that they can get this first swing and get the kill. Who there are a lot of trades in Halo 4, and you just don't want that solid stiff arm. That came from Godless. He is dropping in behind his tanks in the red spawn area. We'll see if Easy's Pie can strike first. So they're looking really good right now. Cannon tanking hard. Digital pain on the way. Digital's right in front of the ball carrier. As you can see, there is two tanks inbound and one behind him on the spawn. All four tanks are now on their are now on the right side for natural selection. They keep getting dropped down. Digital paint gets the kill and then gets dropped. He's got two swords inbound. He's gonna have to fall back, and he does. Gets rid of that ball to maintain possession for easy as pie. What an amazing defense by natural selection. I mean, they were all on the spawn, they were all around the halo, and the, the inclination to just swing wildly and murder all your teammates is really strong. And uh, they didn't. And that's, again, another great sign of a professional grip ball team right there is the lack of betrayals, awareness on the spawn, and constantly being in communication with their other teammates. And a lot of that, and a lot of that has to do with positional spacing. Uh, you'll notice these guys are just outside of hammer range each time with regards to where their positioning is, and that is extraordinary awareness with regards to team play. All right. They're making the push forward. Gals with the kill. It's it a is. goal. Digital pain. Poor Round one goes to there. easy as pie. Poor natural selection there. They had all the defense lined up, but when they lost two players very quickly, whilst they were stuck in their respawn, that allowed easy as pie to push straight on in because they're stuck in respawn. They can't be back at the court. But we are green to go once again onto the second round tip off. And again, this is a nine round match. So first to five will take the championship and the $4,000 cash prize for the winning team, $1,000 cash prize for the runner up. So Godless got the ball, but then he tossed it back. Shadow S16 now in possession at the half court line, right behind Digital Pain and Godless making that push forward. As you can see, they're wrapping around the right side. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that. Easy as pie all up in natural selection spawn. Not just something to their credit is Balls holding up. the line like a red brick wall, just holding there. And a good kill on Digital Pain to kind of stem the attack. All right, it is Godless right now with the ball, right behind Digital Pain. Digital gets dropped and he's back on the spawn. Cannon right there, just in front of the ball carrier. Trying to make that push across the half court line and the ball is up. Yeah, and it's gonna get picked up by Shadow S16. It's one of the things about Halo 4 Griff is when the runner is in trouble, there's an the ability to just chuck the ball across the court. And that, uh, for those who grew up on Halo 4 Griff that seems like a natural part of life. But back in my day in Halo 3 Griff if the runner got caught, you were just kind of screwed. Uh, there were some tricks you could do, like drop the ball, swing the hammer, try to defend it. Uh, you could sort of kind of launch it if you launched your body with it. But Halo 4, definitely a different tactic. So if, if anybody out there is used to playing Halo 3 Griff it's still grip ball, but there's uh, some new aerial mechanics that make the runner a lot more difficult to corner and kill. Shadow S16 currently with the ball. As you can see, Digital Pain right there on the front side getting the kills. I believe that was that was his first single. Let's see if he can get a double. Goes down, gets taken down by... I'm not sure who that was. Perceptor? <laughs> that was Killer's Legit right there. And he's still holding in, but defense at this moment in time from natural selection is absolutely fantastic. Any opportunity they see them coming in, they're being aware, they're looking around the court side. Every time they're looking at their radar or over to the left or right to see if anyone's sneaking in on the sides. Shadow 16 is right there back on the spawn line. He's going to try and make that push. He's got a tank inbound. He gets killed. He's going to get the clear and punch. No, he gets popped up, shield down. He drops oh. it onto the plate. 
Oh my God. Right there, he's got possession of the ball once again. He's getting chased down and he drops the ball, throws it back, and it's going to get picked up by Mad Cannon. Totally unlucky for Easy. Wow, they had super a, close to had a Super close to Yeah, a great push on the spawn. Digital went absolutely crazy, got a triple, possibly a kill tack, but sometimes in Halo 4, the ball responds to the gravity hammer and it's pushed across the court and uh, sometimes disappears off the radar. So that's always fun too. Just adding level of interception. Ooh. And it's picked up there by Rageball Nerd. He saw that going, he saw that play straight ahead. It's gone straight back. And who's gonna be the first to pick it up? It's a foot race right now, and it's gonna be easy. Who's gonna be the one to pick it up? He finally now has possession. It's now the one chance for Natural Selection to make their play. He's got Jinji just ahead of him. He's now trying to find his way forwards. He's got the rest of the team all around him. Rage been knocked out, Killers legit just to his left. As they're now pushing in, forming up that trine of three tanks, all going ahead, trying to get into that spawn zone. He's run back, he's passed across, and it's gonna go over to Jinji, I believe. As he has caught it, great catch there by Jinji. He's now waiting for, uh, I think that's Rage One Notice from him, who gets taken out. He passes over once again, because oh, all of the just fight just swarm around him. And they have lost possession because a hammer swing has deflected that ball right back into easiest by side of the court. Man Cannon with an overkill right before he took possession of the ball, and now you can see him, he's back, back behind on their spawn line. Crossing over that goal line, he's gonna get behind his tanks. The tanks are gonna try and make that push forward up through that tanking line. He's got one in chase right now. That's Godless who takes him down on a mutual. Shadow coming up on the front side. Shadow gets dropped from behind. Digital Pain is now alive. Man Cannon still with possession of the ball. Digital Pain is doing the work, keeping him safe as they respawn and get back into position to try and protect their ball carry and keep it up. Ball is up. Beautiful cross court pass. Ooh, oh, what a down. saw there balls by Killers down. Legit. He saw that coming, completely sliced his legs off. And it's Killers Legit on the ball right now. He's got Jinji to his uh, right, Rage Mono to his left. He's going to come in and try and protect him from that tank. Gets smacked down. I think that was actually easy. He managed to clear the ball there for him. So it's still Killers Legit on the ball at the moment. He's going to run back for Jinji and Rage to so give him some protection going because you always need your tanks to find a way in. And how are they going to play this? Will they try maybe a launch or are they going to try and hammer it in? Because easy as pie, they really have got the hammer sound. Running over his own plants as well. Risk play when you have easiest pie tags just surrounding you because all it takes is one errand sword and that is it game over but he is running all the way through he's got to look out there maybe trying to pass yes they do it's gone straight back and who's going to be the one to pick that up that is going to be easy currently oh just here who's currently playing now he goes over his plant once again just to get behind some tanks because easiest pie are swarming all around the respawn zone he gets a stiff arm in what a stiff arm Revenge, Avenger, everything you can think of as my voice breaks, such was the power of that punch in the face. As once again, he's still on the side, going in on that left flank. He's got uh, Geo Blue 3, I think it's uh, one of the ones from Easy's Pie right now. Try to find the win. We got a couple more Rage War Nerd as well. How are they going to play? He's going in. Go! And it natural is selection. one all to Natural Selection and Easy's Pie a piece as we now go into round number three. So it is even Stevens right now. I think we've got a good game on our hands. I think um, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Mind right. you, these guys are all pro players from the AGLA and GGL leagues. These guys have been playing against each other for years. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can do this in an hour. I think all if right. we get it done under an hour, I'll be impressed. All right, Shadow S16's in the air. He's got the ball. He's right up there. He's three quarters of the way across the court right now with Godless in front of him, as well as Man Cannon. Here comes Digital Pain from the background on the far right side, as you can see. Ball's up. It's going to get picked up by Godless. Gets the punch in the stiff arm, drops the tank, and he's going to move forward. They're just about to cross the half court line. You can see there, Shadow S16 right up there next to the spawn. Gets the first kill, gets the second kill. Is he going to get a triple kill? No, he gets dropped. Here comes Man Cannon, gets a double kill. Digital Pain with Butch. Goal, Digital Pain. All right, you guys, they just needed some time to warm up because here come the pro players. They are, they've settled in and they are ready to serve it up. Easiest Pie taking the lead two to one. But again, this is a nine round game, so it is the first to five. And we'll see if uh, Natural Selection can even it up again. Indeed, as we are into this top off right now, all sprinting in. Who's going to be the first to get there? It's going to be Hammers first, or just trying to grab that ball. It's easy to <laughs> pick it up with a stiff arm. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There's a crack visor on Natural Selection. Ooh. All right, here he comes. Go and for the goal. Roll run. All right, so easy as pie is uh, putting on a clinic right now in that show, showing just how fast a round can go. And that's the crazy thing about Halo 4 Griffon in particular. One round can last for 20 minutes. The next round can last for 20 seconds. I just heard Shadow call calm and cool. That's the kind of leadership we have up on Easy as Pie. But it is natural selection. Rage One Nerd with the initial hammer takes the ball. He is now going to be his chance to get a pass it back to Killers Legit, who now has the ball as we speak. So we're just going to focus on him. He's got a couple of Easy Spy tanks to counter. He's watching his radar to see where on earth they are. One stiff arm. Does he get the second? He's got a sword to counter. He does. Double kill Double. with the ball. 
Very much crack vices across the board for Easy's Pie right now. Oh, oh big double kill there for Easy. Just in front of him to protect the runner going in. He's going to get some smooth oh. moves for our friend Killers Legit as he gets three kills with that ball. Holding it right now, he's got one ahead of him. That's Gingy who's trying to get in. And I think that's Easy on the other side. Yes, it is, as they wipe that both sides. Another stiff arm. So that's oh, wow. four stiff arms for Killers Legit right now. As he's getting in, as he's lost all his tanks ahead of him with a close call because he somehow survived. He's going to go behind Easy on his own side of the plant as well. He's got enemy uh, all around him. He's got Rage Mono just to his front. That's now Jinji who just got wiped out immediately. Same for Easy who got a mutual taking out the enemy tank. So Killers needs to find his way now. He's got to see where can his signs get him through. Can he make the opening and find their way in? Because unfortunately, when you have got the runner, you don't have four tanks. You essentially just have three hammers and the ball carry. So it's a little bit of a disadvantage, but you hold possession. Because if you hold possession, the other team can't score. But oh, so close yet so far. And another oh, step oh. on a killing spree with the wow. ball. That is outstanding as Killers still holds possession. I don't know how he's doing this. It is absolutely fantastic. He's got Rage Winner just ahead of him right now, trying to get rid of this easy fight. And another one, six kills with the ball. Is he going to get himself a frenzy, I wonder, whilst holding the ball? I never see this here half the time during gameplay. Oh, and now pass across, away. and it's going to be Gingy on the ball. So Gingy now has the ball right now. He's passing it once again back to Killers Jit, because clearly this is the man who needs the ball right now if he's getting that many stiff arms. He's going to get another one. He's thinking about his size. He got the player, and there it is, Ooh. waiting for the hammer to come down to get the opportunity. And now he's got uh, that's Rage Runner just off to his right hand side. He's got Easy to the left as they're now making a bit of a pincer maneuver, trying to get the win. And here's an opening. Oh. He's thinking about it. Is he going to get that stiff it. arm in? No, Ray's going to clear it. And oh, oh my goodness. The goal line. It's oh Godless my. with the ball. Who got the stop? Uh, that was Godless who got the ball, and the stop, I believe, was also Godless. All right, Godless the ball on the back side. He's got digital painting cannon on the front side. Shadow S16 on his left. He's going to make that push forward and use the wall a little bit as a protective area. They're going to make that push back across the goal line. And here comes Cannon Digital Paint on the front. Shadow S Digital is actually in the front right now. Cannon on the left side. Shadow has respawned. They're going to have to get past this tank line. Watch that spacing because notice that it doesn't allow for anybody to actually get through the spacing because if you get close enough between them, you're going to get hit. He gets killed taking down. Runner is all alone. Oh, big pass has gone loose. It's going to be a foot race. This is it going to be easy spice to get it? First looks like it because natural selection are all Digital pain. Defense. Digi's got the ball. He's falling back behind the spawn line. Here comes Shadow S16 on the spawn. All right, to try and get these tanks away from him right now. Gets the single kill. He's gonna get the double kill. All right, two tanks inbound. As you can hear, these guys are super intense. <laughs> it's just amazing. All right, Digital Pain still got possession of the ball. He's pushing across the half court line. He's got two tanks right in front of him as well as his, as well as his protective runners. Trying to make that push forward. Here they go. Looks like they're gonna come around the left side. Making that roll right up on their spawn line, trying to keep natural selection at bay. And if they can keep them within the respawn cycle, they're going to be able to get that doorway open and get right into that goal. And again, I don't think I can I can emphasize how difficult it is as a runner to just stand there when you're only a couple paces from the goal, but you know that you just cannot go in because if you do, you're going to get absolutely obliterated. So so much patience and focus in this game. Solid stiff arm right digital pain right in front of his goal. Very dangerous, but there's no fear in, in digital pain. It's kind of amazing watching the pro players because as an Ami player, you realize, oh my gosh, there's so much that these guys know how to do that it's just absolutely astounding as talent wise. Digital Pain still has the ball. Shadow right there with a single kill. He back steps just a second. He's going to move forward. Godless and Man Cannon both coming up the right and center sides. Uh -oh. waiting, for, waiting for the instruction from the commander. They both go down. Digital Pain being very cautious with that ball. He's going to back right up and wait for his tank to come forward coming around the far side as we can see here and they are respawning there's the revenge kill for godless man cannon up there with a single kill he's gonna go for the double gets taken down and shadow has a catch so you just saw in the past there that it had a beautiful arc very high very far one of the tips in halo 4 griff ball is that if you're running backwards your ball is going to actually lose momentum so you don't actually want to run backwards and pass forward uh, the physics doesn't make that a very pretty pass but if you also angle your head up it will follow the trajectory just like when you throw a grenade so those are some we just tips. had an overkill over here from Rage Mono taking out the run before that pass. That was outstanding play. Onto a kill tacular. He's just got a killing spree in five seconds. Ooh. Ball's up. And it's going to get picked up by Man Cannon. Man Cannon has the ball. He's over across the half court line. Here comes Digital Pain in the front. He's going to make that push possibly 
He's got two tanks inbound. He gets the one. He's gonna get the second. Yes, Digital Pain with the kills. He's gonna move forward. Goal, Man Cannon! All right, so that brings us to 4-1, I believe. Yes, 4-1. So one more goal for Easy as Pie, and they will claim the RTX 2015 Grip All Championship, $4,000 in cash, a controller shop, controllers, and Grip All swag bags, and our love and admiration. All right, they already off have, off. of course, but... And it was natural selection of the ball for a moment, but they get absolutely wiped out. That was fireworks across the board as the Easy Spy take the ball once again. Shadow S16 with the ball. He's right behind Man Cannon as he comes across the front half court line. Godless goes down, but Digital still up there doing the work. Digital gets taken down on an Avenger. Man Cannon has respawned. Shadow is back up there at the half court line. Now, DJ, earlier right. you mentioned being an AMI, and what that what he was referring to is being an amateur player. So we have a pro league and we have an amateur league. Oh. Although, look oh, like it no. might be it. This could be the end. Yes, it is. At 16. Give it up to Easy as Pie, your RTS 2015 Grip All champions. But as is tradition in Grip All, we will play the garbage rounds because now these players are going to show you what they can actually do. Now Not it's time didn't. for the highlight reel. Yeah, now they're going to probably go for the, the silly shenanigans that. Uh, Anybody who's ever watched the YouTube channel for Griff Ball Hub or our Twitch channel, you'll notice that we do have highlight reels. A lot of those highlights are all made by the guys you see sitting up here right now. Yep. So as I was saying, we have an amateur league and a pro league. We have a competitive league. We also have a recreational league, and that's all on GriffBallHub.com. One F. Griff only has one F. Everybody here should know that. And so if you're interested in playing League Ball, we actually have sign-ups open right now for the GBL, which is our recreational link. If you have a team, you should come on over, register. And if you don't have a team, we always have teams looking to pick up players. So <laughs> so you should come over and check us out. We also have a booth right here at RTX, booth 241. You can come play Griff Ball. You can play against these guys. You can play with these guys in, a, in Griff Ball. And, <laughs> and if you don't know how to play, come on over. We're going to teach you. We can show you everything that we know. These guys are going to help everyone else out especially in the flavor of the fact that they just won. And it's currently Killer Sajid on the ball. He's just managed to get four kills on the ball right now. We'll see discussing that, and he's had a lot of problems. He's trying to think about it. They're claiming stat pad on the side, because I think someone's uh, sneaking in onto one of the spawn zones. As well as get another slip Ooh. up, smooth wow. moves to the for face. Killer Sajid. Is he going to get on? He gets bounced back. He's got Jinji just ahead of him, gets taken out. Easy's the only one left, along with Rage, who is hanging around, just trying to see what to do. He gets taken out as well. As once again, he has to run back and wait for the players to find his way because they've got to reset, respawn, and restart. As Killer Sajit still holds the ball right now, he's got uh, Rage One Nerd and he's also got uh, our friends over Jinji and Easy on the pole at the moment trying to find the way in. But he's still trying to see what is his options because he is losing tanks left, right, and center. As now he's seeing an opening, we have a little sneaky going along here. Oh, Sword Mutual straight ahead of him. That was painful to watch. As once again, it is still Killers. Trying to see what he can do. He's trying, oh, better watch that sword. He goes in, gets bounced back. He's gonna have to get out because his shields are plummeted as he's still on the ball right now. How on earth has he kept possession? <laughs> I have no idea. As he now runs back and he's still on the ball right now. Trying to find his way because we've got a couple of flanks as well going along at a couple of our sides. He's thinking about it. He's oh, gonna nice. try and get that sword. It's gonna be dangerous. He gets out of oh, it and it's called and it's gonna be turnover to easy as pie. Nicely done. It is Shadow S16 with the balls. You can see their digital pain was on a nice little killing spree right there, as was Godless and Man Cannon. Shadow right here, as you saw, he was just being relentless with that sword earlier. Now he's got the ball. They're making the push forward. Digital pain on the front. Digital pain goes down. He gets the punch. Oh. Stiff arm, but goes Didn't down. Loses the ball. That was Rage More Nerd there who just stacked up in front of him, got in caught between the play and said, thank you, I'll put the hammer on your head. And that was very much blunt force trauma to the back of the head for that player. So our, the uh, Griffel cheering section in the front here, we have a lot of league players here at RTX. We're oh, pass down. Did he get it? Intercepted. Nice. Oh, intercepted. But yeah, the, uh, the yep. crowd in the front is asking for a shotgun. So what the crowd is cheering for is a move in Griffal where the runner goes underneath his tank who jumps, swings the hammer, and actually uses the gravity of the hammer to launch the runner underneath at a uh, ridiculous speed. And Ooh, yeah. goal! Doing a matchmaking where he jump over the other players just saying thank you very much and just runs it somehow gets around the other player in the warrior armor and says thank you very much, I'll take one more for natural selection. It's going to be interesting to see the stats at the end of this game and see how these guys played out and see which tank actually out, which team out tanked the other. I think it's going to be pretty balanced. That's, yeah. that's my prediction. It's going to be pretty... Uh... Oh! Pick up on the ball by Godless. Right off the front. He misses the first punch and misses the second one as well. And Easy recovers the ball because that went flying across. Because, of course, that hammer uh, affects the ball so dr drastically. I've seen some crazy moves with it. Has passed across. going to be over to Killer Sajid. He's going to get He's already got a runner to deal with. He oh, gets taken nice out. Oh, Easy with the pain. That's digital pain with the double stiff arm. 
Nicely Ouch. done. He's going to wait for his shields to recharge. He's got his tanks up there doing the work right in the spawn. He's going to go for it. Is go he going to get it? it? He gets oh, the punch. He gets pumped up over across the goal. And he loses the ball. Who made that goal line? Scott oh, Perceptor. Picked back up I by Godless. Dolls the ball at the half-court half -court line. We also had Jinji down the bottom as well, but still Easy Spy on the ball. But very aware play for natural selection. They are looking at their radar. They know where Easy Spy are coming from. They're trying to get his Oh, oh it's a oh, launch. Shotgun. It's a launch. He's got the ball. And He's going to move backwards. And it's a goal it. for Godless. So that was a perfect example of that shotgun launch yes. that the crowd was asking for. So, Poor Rage, he saw that launch come towards him. He just uh, missed it just by inches. And if anything, actually launched the player further across the court. Good job, Rage. <laughs> <laughs> he said thank you. So We love you, Rage. What you guys can't hear up here is the communication going on between these guys. It is so unbelievably serious, and yet they are so even-toned. Oh, even though oh. the intensity is just insane. Oh my goodness, Gingy with oh. the stiff arm there. He picked the ball, nice got one. one kill, and he just saw the sword come down and waited. Oh. And he's passed it across, and that's going to be intercepted. Oh. Uh. They pitch the ball forward. Oh. oh, he almost gets the ball. It's a mass. It's a charnel house in the middle of the court right now, and it's going to be Rage One is going to be the first to get it in this foot race. Is he going to get the hammer in? No, he doesn't. So he's in a bit of trouble right now because he's going to try and get it up. It's Ooh. bounced up. Shadow gets and the kill. That's it. And Shadow gets the ball. Right behind Man Cannon, as you can see, Digital Pain up on the half court is going to make his push forward. As you can see, Godless is coming around the far side, and Sword's coming at him. He gets the punch, and he survives. Ball's up. Oh, it's a little bit. Oh, it gets reflected right back by Godless. Here comes Shadow. He had someone there. And waiting. Man Cannon's got the ball. He's going to make a push. Oh, no, what a stop by the goal Rage line. Nerd. Rage but nerd it with the stop there. Smacks him in the back of the head once again. And now he's going to pick up the ball for his troubles. No, he's yep. not. He got stiff on by his own player. Kill is legit here saying no ball <laughs> for you as he now takes possession. He's got tanks everywhere, so he passed it back. Oh, and who's nice. that going to be caught by? It's going to be oh, taken over open. by Easy, who Goal! picks it up. What a pass cross court. Victory for Easy as pie. Ladies and gentlemen, your RTX 2015 Grip Ball champions right here. Digital Pain, Shadow S16, Godless, and Man Cannon. Give it up for the 2015 champions right here at RTX in Austin, Texas. YouTube.com slash Rooster Teeth. And of course, shout out to our runners up. So should the winning team not be able to fulfill their duties as RTX 2015 champions? Okay, shout out for these guys. We had Rage War Nerd, Killers Legit, Gingy and Easy, and also Gin Killers Variety of Prince of Entertainment there with that little betrayal stiff arm at the end. I think oh, that was yeah, plenty sure. entertaining. So I want to hear a big shout out to these four here. <laughs> Thank you. These are your top eight Griff Ballers in the world right now. Universe. Universe. Haloverse. And in Austin. All right, so uh, I think we're going to get Shadow up here to uh, do a quick interview with DJ. But as we get him up here, do you want to thank everybody for coming out, supporting Griffball. Again, we are Griffball Hub. We do all the griffing and balling and have all your griffing and balling needs. Uh, matchmaking, uh, customs, we're over there in the back, 241. Come see us. Come say hi. Meet the players. Meet us. Uh, we love Griffball, and we're so happy to be here at RTX. So a huge shout-out to Rooster Teeth for letting us on the stage. We again, love you. Again, 343 for sponsoring the prize. Gamers Galaxy for helping us with, out with the consoles. Controller Shop for providing the controllers. And be sure to come check us out, register for the leaks, and get hammered. All right, I'm up here with Shadow S16. We're going to give him a mic real quick if possible. <laughs> That'd be great. All right. So, Captain of Easiest Pie, now you've been in the leagues for how many years now? Uh, since they started, besides the original eight, so about eight years, seven All years, right. whatever it is now. Now, as far as the game goes, at what point did you guys realize that you had, did you had the upper hand aside from, obviously, the first several goals? What was... <laughs> What was the di what was the most difficult part of the of the offensive move pushes here? Uh, as long as we got tanks tanking together, we were pretty good. Um, we've played together for a while now, so it's all chemistry. So it's just communication and just get a few kills together. Yeah, I, I noticed the passing back and forth. That's something you guys are rather rather known for with regards to getting the ball up and out of your hands as quickly as possible. There were several times that you were up in the air, you caught it and you tossed it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely keeping possession in this game, especially against a team like that. Um, it's pretty important you can't score without the ball, obviously. So, Now, as far as championships go, how many champions, championships do you have under your belt currently? 15 now. Wow. Nicely done. You know what he doesn't have? He doesn't have an AMI championship. <laughs> they won't I let me do, in AMI. but they won't let him in AMI. They won't let me in pro, so it's okay, because I would die really quickly there. So as far as your team... How will these how will, how will these guys support you? Um, wouldn't win without them, exactly. obviously. But um, now they carry. Each person goes off each game. Every one of these wins for the past four games we played, somebody went off and 
any of us go off. It just makes it easier on the rest of the team. The rest of the team picks up the slack. So, And noticeably, every single one of you guys carrying the ball, you guys don't function under a single runner situation, do you? No, no. It, to be good at passing, you have to be good at passing, catching, and running. And uh, if you can't do that in the league, then, you know. Awesome. Well, once again, this is Shadow S16. Captain of BC is Pi. Give it up for the champions of RTX 2015. I'd like to say GG is to natural selection. Good games. And a big shout guys. out to everybody on natural selection. <laughs> Picture time. <laughs> All right, so and break to down. his fiance Maria, because they're going to get married. In yeah, two so that's going to be coming Two weeks, handy. people. So we're going to break down the stats real quick, and then we're going to hear from killers from natural selection. So DJ, go. Uh, First after, go ahead and break down the stats. All right, then. So I'm going to focus on Rage on screen to so have a look at this. And just uh, going to start on the scoreline. Godless at the top for Easiest Pine with 18-10. 92 kills, 3 assists, and 97 deaths. Going down there to Digital Pain. 16-35 on the scoreboard. 95 kills, 4 assists, and only 71 deaths. So he went positive in that game. We had Shadow S16 with 16-10. 98 kills, no assists. He was quite selfish when he was getting the kills. And 82 deaths. And then Man Cannon with 1,374 kills, just the one assist, and 77 deaths. Then going to course down to our friends in, uh, I was about to say natural selection. Yes, natural selection. Easy at the top with that catch at their last round. 1,600 on the scoreboard, 88 kills, 3 assists, and 91 deaths. Going down to Gingy, 1,375. So a big gulf between the points there. And it's 92 kills, 2 assists, and 99 deaths. And everyone's been sharing on natural selection because everyone's got assists. We have Rage More Nerd with 1360, 74 on the kills, 5 assists and 95 deaths. So very much been very uh, communist in that one there, sharing everything out. And finally, Killers Ajit with uh, Tell 30, 65 kills, 4 assists, and 90 deaths. I'm just going to look at the, um, the KD spreads in this one now because the KD spreads will certainly show how things looked. And Wow. Well, I'm quite surprised. There was a couple that went negative on Easy Spike because they were really smacking it down. But Godless with a minus 5 KD spread. Digital Pain with a 19 second average life with a plus 24 KD spread. That is outstanding. Then Shadow S16 not too far behind with a 17 second average life plus 16 in the KD spread. And then Man Can with a minus 3, 18. So he somehow survived a quite decent time compared to Godless on that one. Then down to Natural Selection. Easy going with 15 seconds on the average life, but a minus three on his KD spread. Gingy with a minus seven, 14 seconds of average life. Rage more nerd with a minus 21, 0 14. But then, of course, there is Killers Legit with a minus 25 on the KD spread and a 15 second average life. Pulling a DJ right there with that kind of a the KD. As a runner, it's okay to go negative. That's all I'm saying. It's true. I got you, Killers. I can't run. All right, Killers, you want to come up and, uh, yeah, Receptor's going to ask you some questions. Please be good. Yeah, we'll need a mic. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right then, so I'm here with Killers Ajit and Killers. You may have just lost to Easy Spy, but how do you feel after that game? With you played on the main stage, you've got yourself some prizes as well. How do you feel? I can't be mad about two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Who wouldn't? <laughs> right? Because you got yourself some swag bags as well, and you got of some extra bits and pieces, but. In that game, how do you feel when you were four goals down very early on? How, what do you say to the team? How do you get them back into the game when you got that little extra goal just at the end? Eh, confidence was always at top level. Nothing else we could do. Couldn't win a tip off. That's all that happened. They couldn't tank through us, so sorry. Yeah, because uh, I suddenly heard there was a lot of good communication between your team, though, whilst you were doing that defense, because despite the finding a couple of ways in, beforehand your defense was super strong. So how do, you, how do you do that? How do you get your defense that good to stop some of those? Well, you had some clutch stops. You had two hammers into the back of the runner twice during uh, that game against Easiest Pie. You were just that aware because very, very rare to see a hammer beat a runner. Usually it's a sword. I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. But the whole world saw it, so it's there uh, to be observed. Well, good. So, so, out of the team, though, who do you think was your MVP for you guys? Because we saw you pull off those amazing six punches earlier. But what do you think about the other, uh, the rest of your team? Because they certainly all pull their weight. Which one do you think is your favorite out of the bunch? My no favorite? pressure. <laughs> 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 I, I, I think Easy was uh, putting in most of the work this game. For some odd reason, he was just always, always the one getting through, making the kills. We were always talking, so it always looked forward. One last question, though. 
You may have lost, but will you be coming back again? Of course. Excellent. And one last question for all of our people. I just want to see a raise of hands. Who here on this stage has won an AGLA Pro Championship? Raise your hand. Kill it. That you. is quite Every good. single yeah. one of these players. <laughs> all right. Well, that's going to do us uh, for us right here. We're going to get some pictures of the team. So if you want to stick around, take a picture, get their autograph. You totally can. But that is us for here at Griffball Hub and RTX 2015 Griffball Championship. Shout out to Easiest Pie, your champions, your runners up, natural selection, and to all the teams who came, participated, league teams, attending teams. Thank you all so much. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Griffball Hub. GriffballHub.com homepage, and we hope you sign up for the leagues, and uh, we'll see you later. Thank and you. for more Griffball, watch us Wednesdays and Thursday nights at 9 Eastern on twitch.tv slash GriffballHub. And the booth. Go to the booth. Go play And Griffball. go to the booth. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. We love you. Enjoy RTX.